Oh, how we doing, Helium? Doing all right? Anybody celebrating anything today? No, I am. I, I reached a milestone recently. I went from old to fucking old. And, you know, as you do when you're fucking old, I went to see my doctor, right? And they made me do a bunch of these tests, right? They took blood, right? You know, they took urine, right? They made me fill a cup full. Well, they tried to make me fill a cup full of saliva. I smoked too much weed for that to be done in a day. I gave them a sperm sample. It wasn't on their list, but I had one ready. And I, I did all these tests, right? And I'm sitting there waiting. I, I see my doctor coming down the hallway. He's got this big grin on his face, right? And I'm like, oh, I felt my wallet tighten because every time this man smiles, it costs me money. But he comes up and I got to quote him on this because it's a beautiful thing to me. I got to quote him on this. He goes, you know, you're pretty fucking healthy for a dying man. I'm like, thanks for being on Team D, Doc. I appreciate you. <laughs> but just to clarify, I have been diagnosed with several different types of terminal cancer over the course of 20 years. It's the type of cancer where they go, you got six months to live. And I'm like, I've been living with this for 20 fucking, how many times? Do I have no faith in the healthcare system at this point is what I'm saying. I've been 20 years and every six months they're going, I don't know, you may be, I don't know, you know. I've had doctors quit me. They go, it's not me, it's you. You keep living through this. I'm like, fuck, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there are doctors out there batting a thousand, hitting fucking home runs, but my insurance only covers bench warmers. Oh, I just want one of them to be right once. That's... <laughs> Is that too much to ask? Oh, I remember, I remember my first, you remember your first, you remember your first time you were diagnosed with a terminal disease? Anybody? <laughs> Just me? Just me? Oh, it was glorious. No, they were like, oh, you got lung cancer. You got this tumor, it's growing. If it keeps growing this way, you got six months to live. I'm like, cool, cool, cool. And I went shopping. I was like, fuck, I got six months to live. I'm buying anything I ever wanted. I'm buying anything I didn't need. I'm just fucking putting it on the card, man. Who are they going to bill? I'm fucking dying. Fuck the credit card company. I'm fucking, I was like, yeah, I'm fucking. I bought a boat. I don't even, I can't even think about the ocean without getting sick. And I'm like, fuck it. And then, you know, I lived. <laughs> I'm still paying that shit. Anybody want to buy a boat? <laughs> oh, I will say, it is hard to date when you're dying. You know, you go on these apps and you get these people, they're like, I'm looking for a long-term relationship. I'm like, I can give you three, four weeks tops. That's... <laughs> so... <laughs> Anybody on those dating apps? Any? But yeah, fuck you. That's why they don't work. No, I'm. I'm on this new app called Snacks. Anybody heard of Snacks? It. No. It, I know. At first, I thought it was just for cannibals who only ate ass. <laughs> but it's a, it's it's for people who don't want the full meal deal. They just want a snack. <laughs> I'm trying to sell the company on that idea. It ain't working yet, but I'm like, oh, I love going on there. I read the bios on there. It's insane. It's insane. You, you, you hear some crazy stuff. It's like they say, I want something real this time, not fake or imaginary or made up. But then they check off Christian in their profile. It confuses me. I am Dennis Cruz. Thank you very much.